What's up everyone, Landon here with Late Model Restoration. This video will cover my installation process on front only 2001 Bullet Mustang upholstery and seat foam from TMI. The majority of the time, upholstery is often overlooked because of its complexity. However, redoing the front upholstery in a 1994 through 2004 Mustang is actually quite simple. It involves a few hog greens and about three to four hours of your time. Replacing just the front upholstery has been gaining popularity throughout the years because the driver and passenger side seats are usually the most worn. They are easy to remove and disassemble. Each seat is secured to the floor with floor pan to seat bracket bolts and the driver side is usually has electrical connections if equipped with a power seat track. Other than that, the only workaround with the upholstery on this particular stretch of years is the lumbar support feature. Be mindful of the small air hose since these little guys do have the tendency to break if forcefully, forcefully removed or reinstalled. Of course, you do have to do a little trimming for certain brackets, modules, headrests, and whatever else may be secured to the seat that requires trimming. All right guys, I'm going to show you the general steps I took on installing the passenger side bolt upholstery and seat foam from TMI. Again. Some 1994 to 2004 options may be a little different. This video is to show you how easy the job really is and give you fellas the confidence to tackle this for yourself. To get started, remove the seat from the vehicle. These seats are usually secured to the floor pan with four 15 millimeter bolts. There are also two small trim pieces covering the rear bolts that are secured with a small push pin. Once the hardware is removed, disconnect any electrical connections and remove the seat from the car. Remove the plastic hinge cover by removing the two small Phillips head screws. Set the cover and hardware aside. Next, remove the two 13 millimeter bolts, securing the hinge to the seat bottom. Be ready to support the seat back with your hand since there will only be one attaching bolt left. On the opposite side of the seat, remove the T45 Torx bolt and separate the seat back from the seat bottom. Flip the seat bottom over and remove the four 10 millimeter bolts, securing the track to the bottom of the seat. Set the track aside. Now separate the four plastic clips from the seat frame and roll the upholstery over. Flip the assembly over, separate the foam from the frame, and then locate the six haul greens. Snip the haul greens with a good pair of wire cutters. Cut the felt material to free the two listing rods. You can now chunk the old upholstery and foam. Position the new seat bottom foam over the seat frame. Roll the new upholstery inside out. Slide the two listing rods into their respective location on the new upholstery. Center the upholstery on the foam and then use six hog rings to secure the upholstery to the new foam. Make sure you hook both the metal framing in the seat and the listing rod on the upholstery. Use some force and be sure to pull the upholstery over the aggressive bolsters. Flip the seat frame over and continue pulling the upholstery. Now you should be able to pull the upholstery and position the plastic sheets over the seat frame. Flip the assembly back over and make a small incision in the upholstery where the seat back bracket wants to poke through. Be sure and make small cuts first. You can always enlarge them later. Locate the two holes that secure the hinge assembly. Then poke the upholstery with a leather punch. Make small incisions with a razor blade to widen the holes. Use a pry tool or push pin removal tool to carefully lift the back release knob off of the metal clip. Cut the two seams up the back of the seat all the way to the first horizontal seam. Then cut the upholstery free from the plastic sheath at the bottom of the seat back. Flip the cut upholstery up over the top and then move the plastic cover material. Pry down on the metal clip securing the headrest to the seat back. Pull the headrest free from the seat. Then carefully pull the plastic headrest guide from the seat back. Remove the two T27 Torx bolts, securing the seat belt guide from the top of the seat. Now you can pull the seat frame from the old foam and upholstery. Position the seat frame into the new foam. Cut the foam at the pre-marked area to clear the plastic cover. Again, make small cuts first and then enlarge. Carefully stretch the new foam's retaining clip over the seat frame and clip the small sheath to the frame. Next, cut a long rectangle in the top of the foam to allow access to the two bolt holes and headrest provision. Go ahead and flip the seat back upholstery inside out. Align it with the seat foam and then firmly roll it down the foam. 
carefully tug and pull on the upholstery to get it over the bolsters on each side. Firmly press the seams so that the Velcro backing sticks to the foam. Flip the seat upside down and clip the two plastic sheets together. Once that is done, continue stretching and pushing on the upholstery. Now go ahead and make a small incision in the upholstery so that the metal hook can pass through. Make a wide incision in the top of the upholstery for the headrest assembly. Locate the two bolt holes. Poke the holes and then make two small incisions. Grab the headrest and unclip the plastic sheaths. Carefully cut the headrest at the seam and remove the upholstery. Be careful not to cut the foam because this piece will be reused. Tilt the headrest forward if it has this capability. Turn the new headrest upholstery inside out. For this step, reuse a piece of plastic bagging and wrap it around the headrest foam. This will help the upholstery easily slide into position since the tolerances are fairly tight. Center the upholstery over the foam and slide one side down, followed by the other. Cut away any excess plastic bagging and tuck it inside the headrest. Now clip each plastic sheet together to form an invisible seam. Take your previously removed hardware and begin threading it into the seat. Trim back the upholstery as necessary. Once all the holes are good to go, you can now reassemble the seat. Begin by retightening the T45 bolt and the two 13 mm bolts on the hinge. Reinstall the seat back release knob. Slide in the plastic headrest guide, followed by the headrest. Reposition the seat belt guide and tighten the two T27 torque screws. Flip the seat over and reinstall the seat frame with the previously removed 10 mm bolts. Flip the seat right side up and reinstall the hinge cover. Take this time to inspect your work. Reinstall the seat and you're all finished. As far as installation time goes, I would honestly give yourself about four hours from start to finish, especially if it's your first time. Really the only specialty tool needed is a haul ring and plier kit. Everything else comes apart with common hand tools. Again, this was a general understanding on the inner workings of upholstery and to show you guys that this can be done in the comfort of your own home. Until next time, fellas, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great product installs covering the SN95 and New Edge Mustangs. Of course, be sure and pick up some new TMI seat foam and upholstery from the real Mustang enthusiasts, LMR.com.